hello guys so once again welcome back to chili philly and today i'm going to show you how to make a digital clock as you can see on your screen that uh, i have made a digital clock and it changes its color according to the x color and the x color is nothing but the time that the current time and the current time is taken as the x code so i will show you how to make this in the html css and javascript file so first of all I am writing the HTML file and uh, inside the HTML I am going to open a title tag and giving it the title of digital clock you can obviously give it any name and then we have to link our style sheet and reference it by its address and that is clock underscore u dot css Okay, so inside the body tag, I'm going to open a h1 or header tag and giving it the ID of clock. And I'm also going to close it. Okay, so then I'm going to open a paragraph tag with the ID of hex code. Hex code. And closing the paragraph tag. Then we have to link our script or javascript with the source which is clock underscore u dot js and closing the script file so i'm going to save it and now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to write the javascript code but i've already made the javascript so i'm going to copy all this and uh, explain you everything okay so what I have done here I have first first of all I have created a variable named clock and uh, inside the variable of clock I have stored the value of document dot at element by ID of clock so I have stored the value of the ID of clock similarly I have in the hex I have stored the value of hex color in the variable named hex color okay so then after i have created a function called hex clock and uh, inside the hex clock function i have three four variables first is time the second one is hours third is minutes and fourth one is second and it is the inbuilt function of javascript library and that is uh, first of all i have assigned the variable time to new date to, and this will store our date and the second variable is new is the time underscore get hours dot to string so this will display the current hours of our system and accordingly the time dot get minutes dot to string will return the minutes and seconds okay so now what we have done here is if hours dot length is less than two then hours equals to zero plus hours now this all are similar the change is uh, I have applied minutes and uh, seconds here. So this will do like this. Whenever the hours is a, uh, whenever the second is 59 seconds, then it will convert it to one, one minute. Okay. So as you can see that uh, when whenever the minutes changes to whenever the second changes to 59, then after 60, then it will not display 60 second, but it will add one into the minute okay so this is a required function and then i have displayed the string or you can say clock string to hours plus minutes plus second that we have get by the inbuilt function here okay there these are the inbuilt function then we have created a variable named hex color string and displayed by a hash symbol and hours minute and second so there are six digits two digits for hours two digits for minutes and two digits for seconds and then we have to display our clock so we have written like this clock dot text content equals to clock string and hex color dot text content equals to x color string then we want to change our background so we have written this document dot body dot style dot background color equals to hex color string so this string will change its value 
every second so we have written this set interval x color is the function name x color is the function name that we have called up here and 1000 it is a millisecond time in milliseconds so it will change its time in every millisecond or every second so i'm going to save it okay so now inside the css file for the body and uh, i'm going to give it the font family of size sorry and uh, text color or the clock color to white and margin top to 200 pixels and uh, text alignment to center and background to black the text element and margin top is used to make our clock in the center of our web page now i'm targeting the id of clock that is the h1 tag and setting the font weight to 300 and then font size to 100 pixels so i'm going to save it now i'm going to open this file in the browser okay so you can see here so now it is not working so i'm going to save this file this file and this file again so reopening the browser but it is still not working okay so i have found the problem it is the hex color not hex code so i'm replacing this and opening the browser and replacing it okay so here you can see the clock is running perfectly according to the system time as you can see here and uh, the color is changing according to the hex code okay and i added a alert so i'm removing it and opening the browser okay so you can see here the color is changing so that's it for this video and if you guys really enjoyed this video then please like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the very next video so thank you guys for watching this video